Hello and welcome to Orbify. My name's Oli and I'm going to take you through the new Red Plus project assessment templates. Before we start, we must create a new project. Here we can draw a new project area on the map or select an existing KML from our directories. Here we can rename our project and provide a short description if we want. For each project area, we can also create multiple dashboards. Each dashboard may have a different project template or a different date range. Now we must select our user templates. We can either build them from scratch or, as we're going to do, select the Red Plus project assessment template. Once a template is loaded, Orbify generates statistics for the project area. Analysis is split into separate sections for easy readability. Each section can be modified by the user and each map is interactive. Here we see the project overview and monitoring section. In the map layer, we get near real-time forest monitoring at 10 by 10 spatial resolution. On the side, we get info boxes, which include information as to the project area, maintained forest area, forest ratio, and average canopy height. In the next section, we get information as to the above ground biomass in the project area. The project area, as well as the uncertainty, is visualized in the project map. We also have the total above ground biomass contained in the project area and the above ground biomass density. Next, we have the historical forest loss. Here we can display the change in forest cover over time. This information is also displayed as a chart on the right hand side. Following the historical forest loss, we can get the land use categories and we can view how those change over time as well. Here we also have the land use categories displayed as a pie chart. Next, Orbify will highlight if any of the project area overlaps with protected and indigenous territories. Orbify now provides a deforestation risk score. On the left hand side, we can see how different indicators contribute to the total risk. The total risk is displayed on the right hand side. Here we can see there's very high risk around deforestation fronts. Next we have the non-permanence risk. This describes the risk from fire, drought and flooding. And finally we have the biodiversity indicators. These indicators can be used to indicate the importance of conservation efforts within the area. With these indicators we can get a quick and complete overview of the project. And from here we can use other tools in the Orbify toolbox to delve into details.